Hello everybody, welcome back to another video today. I have with me my latest PSA submission that has been returned to me. This was for the January Sports Card Special at $15 a card. <clears throat> going to get going on this. I'm gonna clear that stage here with some of these cards once they get going. Uh, Jimmy Graham uh, got a gold refractor from 2014 Tops Chrome. PSA 10, number 250. Next up, Ronald Acuna Jr. Uh, from 2022 Finest, the Blue Refractor, PSA 10, number 2, 150. So, nice pull right there on the Acuna. Let um, me make sure those don't fall down. All right, another nice PSA 10, Yadier Molina, Purple Logo Fractor, PSA 10. Those are number 2, 250. Um, so, a lot of good cards there. Got some more nice ones coming up. Jackson Trio. This is his Aqua from Sapphire 2023, number 299, as you can see there. Um, keep it going here. A lot of 10s to start. I promise they're not all 10s. Um, once I get to some of the ones that aren't, I'll explain kind of what my thought process was while I was looking at these grades online. I already know them since um, I like to get these posted before they all come back so that I can make some money back. Uh, Technicolor Otani, PSA 10. Nice one here, Will Benson, Topps Chrome Auto, PSA 10. Uh, on the Reds, not the Guardians anymore, but I really like him. Our next card here is a gold sunny gray refractor, PSA 10. This is from 2023 update. That is number 250. Uh, no longer on the Twins, on the Cardinals now. Um, so another nice pull. Here's probably one of our biggest cards of the order, maybe the biggest one. I pulled this myself, the Technicolor, Michael Harris Jr. Gold to 50. Uh, that did get a PSA 10. See you later, Brady Singer. You're gonna have to clear these out of the way at some point anyway. So got a PSA 10 on that. Another PSA 10, Adon Sanchez. Uh, first Bowman Sapphire from 2023. This is the yellow, number 250. See you, Nick. Um, this is one box. They must put all the 10s in one of the boxes. Uh, PSA 10, Randy Johnson, orange from Topps Pristine. That is number 225. Uh, here's one that I am going to hold for a little bit. A Brooks Brannon, PSA 10, purple sapphire, number 25. It's his first. Um, he's young on the Red Sox. Um, going to be turning 20 soon. He's still 19. But this is a card that, you know, I think might be a hold. He's been up to single A, I think, and has played well. So, you know, maybe if he comes up in a couple years with the Red Sox, pretty big market, might be a nice one for me to hold. Another blue Acuna. This one is from Bowman Chrome. This is his blue refractor, number 2150. Most of these are up on my eBay store, linked in the description if you are interested. Um, go ahead and check it out. Got an Axial Applause PSA 10. So there's not been a single non-PSA 10 in this box yet. Um, just kind of crazy. There's three more cards left from the box here. Uh, Axial Applause 10 orange numbered. It's a bookend 75 of 75. Jonathan, Cla Jonathan Class A going to be holding this till he comes up. He's kind of the minor leaguer I think I buy the most of or try to buy the most of right now. Really like him. This is his Mega Box. Uh, first PSA 10 and then here's our first nine and I knew this one was going to be a nine Jackson Trio first Bowman PSA 9 gonna probably be selling this around the time he gets called up I've had this one and another one I sent in this order it was the mega box though um, but I've had these for a year and a half at least probably and I've never sent them in because I never thought they looked good enough $15 is as cheap as grading is ever gonna get I figured you know, the prices of the raw have gone up probably about 1.5 to 2x since I sent these in. So I was like, you know what? We'll just send it off. So PSA 9, I'm going to sell that at some point uh, in the near future, hopefully. Got another PSA 9 here. I uh, thought this one probably would get a PSA 9, but gave it a chance. Anthony Richardson. Um, this is his 2023 Prism Base Rookie. Have it up for auction on eBay currently. Next card, really happy with this. This is the happiest I'll ever be with a nine. Uh, Roger Federer, PSA nine from 2015 SI Kids. 
my favorite tennis player growing up. Um, just gonna collect or put this in the PC. Um, really, the SI kids are so tough to get a good grade on. I'm surprised this got a nine. I mean, like the centering is not there at all on the back. On the front, it's not bad. And like when I tore it out, like that's not really a perfect corner. I have no idea how this got a nine, but I will take it. I am very happy with that. That is a huge card for my personal collection. More PSA 10s, Jalen Hurts, Pink Luminance Rookie. PSA 10, not worth much, but I pulled that and $15, I'll we'll send it in. Johnson Class A again, this is his auto from the 2022 Bowman Chrome Mega Box. Another nice card right there. Um, this is kind of, yeah, this next stretch of cards, I'm gonna do it in order of what I saw it on the online reveal. And I was thinking, man, I just got one of the harder graders at PSA. Good luck getting any 10s. Um, so we'll look some of these over, see if they were deserving. Joey Votto, rookie, PSA 8. I generally like to send this in. Um, not sure if that's a little crease in the card or what. Maybe that has a little something to do with it. Um, this one looked clean to me. So I'm going to assume that there's like a little crease down there or a little wrinkle or something right there on the front that gave that the 8. Um, then I saw this one next, the next card, PSA 8. Brandon Crawford. This one looked really clean to me. Um, I love sending this one in. I don't know, maybe there's a little at the top there, right in here. Um, not exactly sure, but PSA. I have not been having good luck with these like 2011 and 2008 Tops cards. This one I thought was a 10 for my PC, Zach Cozart. Um, love watching him. I thought he was a kind of underrated player. He's just a fun guy to watch. Uh, this is his Diamond Anniversary Rookie, PSA 9. Probably would be like a soft corner or something on there. There's a little bit of a, a red line there, which wouldn't have been on there when I submitted it, and they wouldn't have given it a PSA 9 with it. It's probably this stuff here. You can see that some of the color faded, so I don't know what that red is. Maybe they accidentally put a little bit of Sharpie on it or something. I don't know. It's for my PC. I'm only going to see the front of the card. It doesn't really matter to me. And then another PC card, Air Cosmer X Fractor. This one wasn't really expecting a 10. Um, a little off center left to right. And it's just hard to find a perfectly clean surface on these old, old, not old, old, but I mean, it's over 10 years old for a, a Chrome card. A lot of time for it to get scratched up. So another PC card there. So they were not all 10s, as we can see. Um, back to the 10 train though, Colby Thomas, I guess he's him and class A are probably the two prospects I'm looking for the most. Um, this is his atomic refractor from 2023 Bowman PSA 10, not numbered, but still a nice card there. Um, sepia Joe Ryan. I think he's going to be a really good pitcher. I mean, he's already been, you know, pretty good. He's, um, born in 96. So he's, you know, 27, 28, but you know, DeGrom, not saying he's going to be DeGrom, but DeGrom didn't start going crazy until he was like 28, 29, 30. So I think Joe Ryan has potential. Um, it's just unfortunate he's on the Twins. Not that they're horrible, but not even they're just not even really in the picture of people paying attention to them. Um, another Class A, PSA 10 on the Mega. Some of these cards need to get cleared out of the background because we've got a PSA 10 Pristine Gold refractor Corey Seager from 2023 tops pristine really love collecting or not collecting but really love buying pristine might be it definitely is a product that I'm buying the most of right now um, and it's been good to me in grading so far so might be getting more pristine or might continue buying pristine stuff here's another pristine really old 2002 was not expecting a nine on this it got a nine it had some good surface scratches to it that I you know, tried my best with the microfiber to knock down a little bit, but still got a PSA 9 on the Tom Brady 2002 Tops Pristine. Pretty nice card there. Uh, a few more cards here. This is a tough one to gem up. It's probably impossible. I don't think that there is a PSA 10 out there. Clearly, Donruss from Chronicles, Iuk rookie. Um, I mean, like, you can just see there. Like, that's just stuff that comes from them pr trying to print it clear in the factory. It's really hard for them to get a perfectly clear car without putting any scratches or print lines or anything on it. So really cool card there, PSA 9. Would have been great in a PSA 10, but PSA 9 I'm happy with. Uh, another PSA 9, like I said, I was expecting a 9 on this, the trio. I think one of the back corners was 
um, looking soft. It might have been, might have been that one. You can see it just, just looks soft, and that's nothing that you can really fix up. Honestly, that probably isn't even a PSA nine. That's like a, that's pretty messed up in my opinion. But got a nine on that. Uh, cards I send in, I would only send in at this fifteen dollar rate. Corbin Carroll, just a Bowman prospect card, Bowman Chrome prospect card. Got a PSA ten on it. Um, another PSA 10, Otani. This one actually I already sold um, for $38. This is one I think I pulled out of 2021 Tops Chrome back in 2021. So pretty good profits on that. Probably like $15, $20 profit. You'll see that in my sales video. Got a Salvador Perez PC card. Got the purple logo fractor. Same thing as the Adir Molina. It is numbered to 250. PSA 10 on it. A couple more cards here. Um, this one, it's going in the PC now. Gold Bobby Witt Jr. got a PSA 9. That is what I was expecting it to get. There was a some sort of problem with the surface somewhere on the front. Um, I don't really think that is what it was. But yeah, I can't really see that great. Maybe like something in here as well. There's just a few minor surface defects I didn't think would get a 10, but I said if I got a 10, I'd sell it because it would be worth quite a bit. But in a 9, it's a nice card to have in my PC. And then the last card up for sale on eBay. Would have loved to PC it, but it got a 10 and I think it's got good value right now, especially with that new contract being signed. So see if I can sell that value I'm happy with. If not, we'll go ahead and keep it. So overall, all those up there. Oh, we still got Jorge up there. Get out of there, Jorge. We'll put you up there, Bobby. We'll get you on the stage. Yeah, that's it. So all those up there are 10s. Got a nice chunk of 10s here. Look at that fat stack of tens. And then right here, we got nines and then two eights here. So, you know, I went 24 of 35, I think. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, so I had 35 cards, 11, eight, and nine. So 24 of 35, but I knew the two trios were gonna get um, a PSA, not a PSA 10. So that knocks down like 24 out of 33. And then if you include those first four cards I sent in, the Crawford, the Botto, you know, um, the Hosmer, and the Cozart, the cards that are 10 plus years old, I want 24 of 29 on the pretty modern stuff. So pretty happy with this order. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. I know this is a little bit longer of a reveal, but got up here, you know, total purchase price, um, total sales, just kind of the breakdown of everything. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Comment other video ideas down below in the comment section. Instagram is linked down below. I might post some of these up there if you're interested. Most of these will be on eBay though. Links down below in the description. As always, 2K for life. Peace.